This is my match video for the TDSA 3-gun held on September 9th, 2023. I'm shooting in limited division. Are you ready? The first stage I shot today was a shotgun only stage, which I took the opportunity to practice a whole bunch of pump action and reloading. It had been a hot minute since I used a pump action here. I wasted a little bit of opportunity there to reload on the move. Uh, you know, rule one of shotguns, if you know you're going to need more ammo, uh, just go ahead and reload while you're moving. I used three shots on the spinner. I could have loaded three here. I'm doing a load three technique off of some belt mounted caddies. It's fairly reliable, uh, much more reliable than any time that I have attempted to use a dual or quad load methodology. Uh, but it is also not quite as fast. Is it fast enough for CQB brutality? Well, we'll find out eventually, but this is me practicing. I learned this technique uh, pretty much just by watching uh, Russell Fagan's videos, uh, Sinistral Rifleman. Very, very good competitor. Lots of stuff you can learn from. Uh, here, this is something of a steel maze stage where you don't necessarily know if you've gotten all the targets. So I waste a good two or three seconds there loading an additional round and looking for targets that I had missed. I had actually gotten them all. Uh, and you finish up this stage. Oh, it's, it's not a shotgun only. You finish it up with pistol at the very end, taking that spinner. And it had been a while since I'd touched my P226, but uh, this is the pistol that I had competed for my first five years with. So that one went pretty smoothly. I was even able to double some of them. Overall, uh, I'm still shooting a pump action. So that hurt. This stage starts with some simple rifle engagements that finish with a uh, high value target shot on that yellow steel over there. I'm missing a little on the side targets. I don't mind terribly much. If I'm not missing, I'm not going fast enough. Uh, I would prefer only have missed once, but go figure. One shot there as I move on. I'm not certain whether I got the A zone or not, or the TDSA equivalent of the A zone. And there I brain fart uh, and try to do that hard lean, even though I had determined later on that it wasn't necessary. Overall, my plan here is also a bit of a brain fart. Uh, right before shooting the stage, I thought to myself, you know what, I can actually clear all this from the center line of this bay. Um, but I defaulted back to what I had started with once I actually got into the stage. This is an exercise in not missing with the shotgun, which, you know, oh, shotgun, you can't miss. No, you can miss. And uh, it's almost like this stage was designed with eight plus one shotgun capacities in mind. So you shoot the first eight targets from the first box, and then there's seven targets left in the second box. So I get to do two load threes, and I leave the shotgun completely dry. Finally, move over to the VTAC and hit these targets twice each from two different ports. So immediately go to a reverse kneeling here. Uh, I could improve my position by doing one thing, which is slamming the handguard not only into the bottom of the box, but also into one of the corners. That would give me a slightly more stable position. And then, last but not least, when you can go prone, go for it. Go prone, because there's, there's nothing that says you can't, and I don't have to move anywhere else, so get all the support that you can. Very nice. And yes, I do keep shooting the targets yeah. because I'm registering whether I do or do not hit, even though technically the RO did already call hit. That stage ended up pretty good for me. Um, and this stage is a big old paper spam right. stage. Starts with rifling everything, and then later on it'll transition to pistol. Uh, ways I can get a little more efficiency here, I should have just turreted from the start and then done one move out to that final position, rather than doing that kind of hesitant step out and shooting on the move. There, I wing three at it. I do actually neutralize that target, but uh, it's going to bite me a little later here, especially because I throw a third shot at that target as well. 
there were 15 targets, and I have a 30-round magazine because I'm running in limited division. Oops, I should have just gotten my hits. Here, nice long double action pull goes to the biggest target, just to give me the most uh, leeway. And then my single action misses a time or two. Here, I'm, I should have just been a little slower on the move so I could do a more purposeful, intentional reload. Would have been faster, more smoother at least. And here, uh, again, there's some random little random steel hidden behind the tall grass, which thankfully the RO is kind enough to point out for me. And then here I missed these steel like good too many times until I focus in and think, oh right, marksmanship, still gotta do it. And then there, big old paper target at the end. Technically you could have shot from the bridge and been fine, or you could shoot from the bridge. I did not do it because... I was seeing easier ways to get better footing. And the better a core you have, the better you will do. This stage is a dumpster fire, unfortunately. And uh, most of it's just mental on my part. So the first thing is I tilt a little bit on the pistol because I don't shoot it as well as I know that I can. Um, these are, what, it's a 15-yard popper. 15-yard uh, auto popper, and then a uh, 50 and 70-ish yard uh, stab and shoots. Pretty big targets. Uh, I should not be missing as much as I am. And then the shotgun really messes me up. It starts with three slugs. I miss one of the slugs, and then I just completely brain fart on what is the best, most efficient way to clear these stages. And unfortunately, this day, this is still like triple digits temperatures in Texas, so the stages are only two minutes long. So I don't have the time to work through mentally um, and correct myself. What I should have done there was just hit the three slugs, or miss one of them, load three, and then attack the spinner with a full shotgun of bird shot. Because here, I load three while the spinner is losing momentum, and because of that, I'm realizing, you know what, no, I need a full tube of nine, uh, of eight plus one, in order to kill the spinner. Because I'm using a cylinder bore, and the spinner is kind of set up for modified or better. And because I spent so much time on the shotgun, unfortunately, I do not have enough time to actually convincingly finish this off. I'm doing everything right that I'm supposed to with the rifle. Uh, slam it into, you've seen me use this position before, slam the handguard into the corner of the pillar. So I have both vertical and horizontal support. But at the end, I wasted too much time on the shotgun. I also need to speed up my slug hits, but that is in general just I need to improve my usage of the shotgun slug. Overall, the one dumpster fire stage brings me down to about halfway through the field, exactly halfway. Ultimately though, this match was a learning experience or a practice opportunity with weapons and sighting systems that I would be using in CQB Brutality. Uh, the pump action shotgun was going to make a, set, a showing, so was the 226, and it had been a while since I had used either of them. And I was also going to bring some kind of red dotted rifle. I hadn't quite decided just yet. So limited division was a good practice run for me. Stay tuned to see more practice runs for CQB and also CQB Brutality itself, plus whatever happens beyond that.